never believed it. What? I have the force. Sure. No, really. I met this old guy in an alley and he was predicting the future and a bunch of other crazy stuff. Like, for example, did you know Obama is going to be our next president? That's already happened. See? He was right. So, what about the force? Well, after he got done telling me this amazing story his dog told him, he taught me the ways of the force. You're such an idiot. Oh, really? Then explain this. Oh, cool. You're not even looking. What? Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Sim Sabotage. I'll be your host, David Worley, and I'm going to show you guys how to do this effect. We chose this effect for the first episode because, you know, Star Wars Episode 7 came out, and it's kind of, sort of, a big deal. It's Star Wars. And I wanted to show you guys how to do the Force Lightning effect because it's cool, it's awesome, and you know, Force Lightning. explanation. So, what you guys are going to want to do is open your compositing software minus hit film, and go ahead and track all of your character's fingers. This will be explained in more detail in another tutorial. Then, name the track to their respective fingers, index, middle, ring, pinky, and end. Add a new layer, or plane, set it to black, and name it lightning. Have it line up with the rest of the points, which all go above the original footing. Go to effects, particles, and simulation, and lightning and electricity. Place it over the plane layer, then go to controls, blend, then add. Afterwards, open lightning and electricity, start and end, and then go to use layer. And for start, use index, and end, use, well, end, and then zero the offset on both start and end. Points go to wave scale and set it to 0.2, and twitch scale to 0.15. In the start section, set the width to 1.5. And the end section, set width to 5. On branches, set rotation to 20 degrees, turn max scale to 0.8, and number of twigs, uh, make it 1. In animation, put speed on 0.8, and jitter and scale on 2. Now go back to end, then scroll to where lightning begins and click the circle next to growth. Now set growth to 0, advance by 5 frames, then set growth to 0 0.1. To change color, go to core. Here is where you can decide the color. My suggestion is to do whatever you want, and to experiment. But, in this case, we are going to go to core, and we're going to set the opacity and feather both to 1. In Glow, you also can do whatever you want, but I advise turning Opacity to 0.6, Radius to 0.88, and Feather to 1. Then go to Trunks, scroll to where the lightning first begins, then next to Trunks, press the bullet point, and go later into the video, set it to 0, a little later, then set it to 1, and continue doing this, keeping the exact pattern random. There should be around 7 keyframes or so. Go to the lightning plane and duplicate it 4 times and rename it for each finger. Then, on each one, go to Controls, Start, and Use Layer, and assign it to its proper finger. Then, on each one, click Seed, and make it different each time. This randomizes the effect. Go to Effects, and then place Blur on top of the lightning plane. Then, go back into Effects, and add a blur. Feel free to do whatever you want with this layer as well. Well, guys, 
That ends the first episode of Simna Sabotage. Did you enjoy it? Have a question? Leave a comment and I'll respond to as many as possible. Also, did you try this effect? If so, please send it to me, and I'll try to have it at the end of the next episode. Well, I guess since, you know, I've worn out my usefulness, this is the end of the video. So, uh, see ya.